is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're unboxing a sketchy Supreme collection off of eBay. Now you guys know one of my first big videos that ever hit a million views was buying a mystery box off of eBay that cost $3,000 and you know that's sketchy. That's kind of like why are you spending $3,000 on a mystery box? Now I've kind of started to stray away from eBay because that's where the scams lie. That's like basically where they always are. Try to kind of stay away from that. I did the eBay for a while. Kind of wanted to bring it back because I've been doing these insane mystery boxes for 17,000, 20,000, whatever. I wanted to bring back the eBay in a uh, different kind of way. I wanted to go on and buy an entire Supreme collection from somebody. So over the past couple weeks, I've been doing some research, trying to find a collection that wasn't $20,000, $15,000, but still a reasonable amount of money. It's here and it looks kind of sketchy. Now, the reason I say this is sketchy because we don't know if this is legit. We don't know if this is fake stuff. We don't know if they're actually sending it because it's eBay. Now, eBay does have a policy if you get sent fake items, you can send it back and get your money back completely because they want to cover you on that. So we do have that kind of thing on our shoulders, but at the same time, it's still sketchy. It's still $3,000 that I spent. So you guys are going to see, I've actually bought this like a week ago. I showed you guys the whole process of me bidding with the seller. The seller wanted $6,000. And I was like, this stuff is only worth 3,000. Went back and forth for about a week, and then we came to a conclusion, and uh, hopefully we have some legit stuff. So uh, struggling, to, as always, when I'm struggling to buy these things, deciding if I wanna do it, deciding if I can win the battle with the person. So if you guys didn't know, we did go ahead and extend the two giveaways we have right here. This is the $500 Star General Mystery Box. You guys, a little sneak peek what's in there. As well as we're giving away a Supreme Louis Vuitton item right there. This is valued about six to $800. Now we extended that to July 28th. The winner will be announced next Sunday. All you have to do for that giveaway is you have to, one, of course, be subscribed to the channel then number two you have to follow the link in the description to the video and leave a comment on that you'll see the rules in the description for that that's it that's simple we have a new giveaway coming up let me know in the comments what you want for the next giveaway we should do another Travis Scott Jordan one should we do a pair of Yeezys I don't know let me know down below what you guys want to see and uh, maybe the top comment will be the pick of the next giveaway all right guys, so now we're going to be looking at some uh, sketchy Supreme collections. So the past few days I've been doing some research on these collections because I'm trying to find a place where I can buy a lot of product in bulk that I could possibly end up flipping and selling for you know more money or just to make the money back from the video and get some good content out of it. And I thought eBay would be the best place to go because a lot of people might be trying to get rid of stuff. You can't sell things in bulk on stuff like StockX and things like that. This is sketchy because there could be fakes. So I'm gonna be doing some research, looking into it, looking at some sketchy stuff and uh, then we'll go from there. Now, I'll show you a few of the things I've been doing research on, kind of what I found. I've been going back and forth, looking at a bunch of different stuff. Now, prices on here are weird. So, Supreme and Off-White Collection hoodie shirts jackets, $3,000. Basically, has a bunch of pictures. Now, when I looked at this, I thought this was cool, but it wasn't enough variety for me. Now, they have some decent stuff. It all looks legit. Some Off-White, some Supreme. Looks pretty good, $3,000. Didn't really find much of a value in that. I found some like Supreme decks. These prices are just ridiculously too high. They're coming from Japan, and for some reason, the prices on their specific page, way too much. And then I found like this $20,000 Supreme North Face 1994 Expedition Collection. All of the jackets, apparently you can't get all the jackets in one place, even from StockX, I don't even sell one of them. I don't I don't think I'll be going something like that. And look, it's some fake Fendi, so that's great. Already starting with some fake stuff. So, I found one that didn't look too bad. Looked like somebody who might have been over the years buying some Supreme stuff. Still could be fake, still could have some fake items. Now, I actually messaged him a few days ago. This price was at $6,500. And uh, that was a lot, so I did some research. Basically, you can see they have a bunch of stuff here, a bunch of Akira Supreme, a bunch of Supreme accessories, a bunch of cool stuff, uh, a bunch of beanies, a bunch of headbands. So I think this person might live in New York, California, so they might go to the Supreme store. They got some Supreme North Face, decent stuff. It just looks like a collection. It looks like somebody who might be around my age, had a collection, wants to get rid of a bunch of stuff. So this is what, they have basically everything listed down below. So I went ahead, went over to apps like StockX, Grailed, and I went and looked at the actual values of these things and actually wrote it all down. And for what I found in there, if it's real, it'd be about $3,000 worth of stuff. Maybe a little bit less, some are used, harder to sell, but that's kind of where I came from. And they're all mostly my size, so medium to XL. So I think that it, this could be the one. So I think I'm gonna put an offer in for $3,000. Now he has it up for 3,500 and I know he probably wants more, but I'm, I gotta try to make a little bit of money off it. And I'm buying it in bulk, I'm buying a bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna make an offer right now. This is gonna be fun. Whole Supreme collection. This, I've been wanting to do this for a long time to buy a whole collection, 3,000 bucks. He has it for 3,500. We'll see if we can maybe work something out because I'm buying a bunch of stuff from it. $80 shipping, getting the offer. We gotta pay. It was declined already. Um, I guess he has a minimum offer. Let's do 3,050. Submit offer. Your offer wasn't accepted. All right. Well, 
I'm gonna make one more offer. And if he doesn't accept this offer, I'm messing him today. Look, you're, you want too much, and if you wanna sell it, um, 3,100 bucks. That's my, that's my high. Review and confirm off. Oh wait, submit offer. Wasn't accepted. Met my guy. I'm messaging him right now. Yes, I'd like to buy, but I just made three offers and they all were instantly declined. Are you sure you want to sell? Question mark. Sent. Ruthless out here. My guy, do you want money or do you not? Catch you in a second. All right, just got a message back. He said, what was the offer that you were sending? I told him what I was gonna send, which is 3,050, which is more than I told him I'd pay before. He told me 3,100 before, and I couldn't, I put that in and I couldn't get it. I guess I'm gonna wait again. He's finally responding, but. Dude messaged me again, said 3,200. I said, you told me five messages ago, 3,100. Do you want to sell or not? This dude had it listed at $6,500 before, and I was like, bruh, who's paying that much? I'm gonna pay double what it's worth. So I just got another message back, and he said, yeah, but I have to pay shipping and fees, even though I'm being charged $80 for shipping already. So I said, 3,050 right now in your pocket, or I'm walking away. This is like if you're at a car dealership, I gotta make it worth it for me. I know he's gotta make money. This guy wants to buy it. If he wants some money, he could have three grand in his account today, or nothing. We'll see. We'll check it. This is getting juicy now. Just got a message there, change the price. Let's see what he's saying. 3,100. So he said 30. I make an offer of 3,050. My man tried to finesse me. Submit offer. It's gonna be declined. <laughs> we sent the offer. Man, this dude trying to finesse me. Money or not. Look, there is an offer. Oh, the screen's not recording. You guys couldn't see that, but I just submitted an offer of 3,050. He could have had 3,100, but he turned it down about five minutes ago. So that's what we're doing. We're, we gotta, I gotta pay 80 yard shipping. Hope he accepts it. If not, I'll pay 3,100. But since this dude gave me a hard time changing the price, sorry if this is one of you guys watching the video, but let's be real. Let's be real. Let's be real. Your offer's accepted. That's what I'm talking about. Can't low ball, low baller. Come on, buddy. We won't pay for it. Man, I haven't done an eBay thing in a minute. Your order was placed. Maybe he might mess with the stuff now since I low balled him so much, but eBay. Don't let me down. Money back guarantee. 21 eyes, baby, 21 eyes. Why am I talking? All right, we'll see you in a week. box this is the two boxes here it's two different packages from the person kind of heavy now i thought we we're only getting one skateboard and this feels like maybe two and then this is the whole box i'm still kind of nervous i've been nervous waiting for this to come in because i don't want fake items. it's time to open this up i don't know where to start i'm kind of nervous because uh this is three thousand this is like my original three thousand dollar obviously i spend more money now but still i'm not like an avid legit checker on supreme but a lot of this stuff i have seen before and i will go ahead and uh do some legit checking. I might even take it to a local store to see if they can legit check some of the things because we want to be sure. Because I'll probably be selling some of the stuff if it is legit on my website. Also, we have a lot of inventory on my website right now. We got Revenge Storms. We got some Travis's are on there. We got a bunch of stuff is on the website. HarrisonNeville.com. Check it out. We're gonna be releasing some shirts soon. Kind of, they might you might see something like this coming up soon. So let's go ahead, open this bad boy up, and see what we got. I don't know where to start. Do we start with the decks? Do we start with this? What do you think, cameraman? Decks. All right. Also, if you guys didn't see last video, go check it out. We did a whole makeover on the cameraman. If that video gets enough love, if it gets enough views, we might come to one of your guys' house and uh, do a makeover on your room with permission. We, it's a lot of logistics in that, but we might do a makeover for one of you guys, so check that out. So I think we have 36 items total. I don't know though, I'm gonna double check. But again, I have these valued out at a specific amount. Please, I think I've had this skate deck. I, I remember, I think, unless it's the white one, which I would actually like if it was the white one. Oh, we only do, we do only have one deck. Yup, this is the white version of the flower seed. This is actually brand new, so that's good. This feels like more than one skate deck. Please open. All right, here we go. First piece up. Is this gonna be a good one? Looking pretty good. Airbrush floral skateboard and white sticker looks good. One of the things is Supreme stickers can be faked. Now, I know it's a sticker, but let's go ahead and check this out right here. We got Supreme New York. I had this in black. This one actually looks pretty decent. This looks good. Like, I don't think that they're really faking these that much. And the guy has a lot of items from recent drops. So we'll be comparing a lot of things, but I think this one looks good for a new deck. This is also going for about hundred bucks, I think. 70 to hundred bucks. So first item there is the deck. And then we're gonna get on to the uh, big box. That's one item. 
But we gotta make sure this is worth it. Did I get scammed? Right, guys, we're in tripod mode. Decided to put the skate deck over there. I'm gonna put some of the items as we go over here so it's easier to see. It's time to open this up. It's been a minute since I did an eBay box. Apparently, you guys don't like previews, so I'm not gonna show you what's inside. I just wanna show you guys a little bit of a preview before, but I guess I won't because you don't wanna see that. So immediately, oh my, I just forgot about this. Oh, I forgot that I was getting this because I've actually been wanting this. We'll, we'll skip that for a second. He wrapped this up pretty decently, actually. So first thing I see is a pair of Supreme Digi Camo pants. These are a little bit older of a release. Pretty cool pair of pants here. Another one of those, I don't think these were faked, and I think this is a good one. Yeah, Supreme New York quality garment. Smells a little used, definitely a little used, but that's not a bad pant. One good thing is a lot of these are my size. So this is a good one right here. I don't value on this. I, I have it on my computer, but I don't know exactly. I've had to guess 100 to 200 bucks what that is. So it looks like we have a bunch of t-shirts. We got some stuff wrapped up. One of the things that I wanted to show you guys, wherever my knife is, that I have not had before, is this Supreme Band-Aid. These are a really cool piece. They're selling for like $15, but to me, it's one that I never went ahead and got, and I just think it's a cool thing. One of those random Supreme bricks, Supreme crowbars, and he wrapped these really nicely. We have this Supreme Adhesive Band-Aid. Nothing crazy. Again, that's not like an expensive item. It's cool though. Why? It's a Supreme Band-Aid. All right, let's open it up. Undies, boys. 15 bucks right here for some freaking Supreme Band-Aids. See right there, you got the classic Band-Aids, got the Supreme in it. Again, I don't think these are faked. <laughs> this is funny. I'm gonna be like some of the those uh, SoundCloud rappers. So Supreme Band-Aids, that's a cool piece. These two I'll probably save. Post it up in the studio somewhere so you can kind of display it like that. I think this is a really cool thing. Just, I don't know why. I like things like this. More than clothing. I like this more than I like the pants. I promise I'm only gonna keep the Band-Aid on for one piece next. So we got a few things in here. Again, I wish I could show you this. I kind of know what's coming, but at the same time, I don't know. All right, let's pull this out. This is one item that I really, really wanted. Just have not pulled the trigger on. It's worth about 250 bucks. And that is the Supreme Teddy Bear. Brand new DS. Ooh, this guy, if he's got multiple real items, then I'm I'm assuming most of them are. So you see, we got the stickers and everything on there. I kind of want to put this. Yeah, I'm going to un-DS this. I want to put this in the, the apartment somewhere. Let's pull this out. Supreme Teddy Bear with the box logo hoodie on there. Tags and everything styled made exclusively for Supreme. Yep, this looks all good. You got the swivel right there. This is just a cool, like, why is this cool? I don't know, but it is. A box logo on a bear. I'm a hype beast. I know. I can admit it. I'm wearing a Supreme bandit on my face, but this is cool. This is going to go on a couch or something because I really like that. So we'll put that right there. Just put them on the knife. Sorry about that, buddy. That is actually really soft. It's a classic bear company. Put this to the side. We'll keep this just in case I end up selling. It. So, a couple things up next. We have, uh, I see the Arabic logo logo t-shirt right here. We'll pull this out and I see a whole lot of things that were in the listing. So thankfully, Arabic logo t-shirt in a size large. One that's going for about 100 to 150 bucks. Says so there's a light cracking on there, which there is. The Supreme tag and everything looks pretty good. Size large, it is my size. That's a good piece right there. That's definitely one that I would probably end up selling. And I feel like this is a good opportunity for me to hook you guys up with some good prices on things. So next thing up is gonna be this, which I think is the Supreme Santa ornaments. Another really cool one. They came out with exclusive Santa ornament t-shirts back in the day, and I really like those, just the Santa t-shirts. This is just a cool piece right here to have. Like, I, I'm a big fan of accessories. That's one of my favorite things from Supreme. Like, even over the box logos is the accessory. Come on, bro. This dude got tape right on here and ripped this straight off. Regardless, we have a Supreme Santa. The only reason I say that and get mad about that is because if I wanted to resell these items, like, I can't sell it on StockX now because it's ripped off. But this is probably one I might keep, which I'll just take it out. Is the Supreme Santa ornament. Fiance is probably not going to like this on the Christmas tree, but uh, that's still a cool piece. Just Santa holding. It looks like a pretty decent ornament as well. It says Merry Christmas 2008. This came out in 2008. All this stuff has like stickers and stuff on it. So this is a pretty decent size Santa ornament. Oh, oh, ah, oh, that's working right. Ah, oh, ah. That took a lot longer than I thought. Wow. We're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items in. Looking pretty good. All the items are looking pretty legit. I'm feeling a little bit better about it. So we'll continue to look on. You never know, you might slide something in. This feels really heavy. Supreme brick, maybe? So I'm gonna pull out a bunch of items that are very similar here that were listed. And I remember seeing these. He loves bandanas. So we have a bunch of different Supreme New Era headbands. We've got this red one right here. This one seems to be DX. It's still got the stock X tag on it. We have a U Supreme. I think this is reflective. We have another one in black, the New Era one, the same as this red one that is DS. Very similar one to the other one. I think these are like fall, winter, 18. Four, there's five. This is another one. I think this is reflective as well. So we have five headbands right there. I think there might be more, but we still have a good amount of like beanies in here. So we have this, what is this called? The watermelon. I also don't know if I want to wear these before like cleaning them. This is world famous in the back. This is definitely legit. This is all good new era products. And then we have a few more, one DS, one undies, the S logo beanie and this like nice little blue color. That's a really nice one for winter. And we have the red S logo, brand new from fall, 
Winter 17 in the bag with the nice thing there. It looks like he might have put it on or something, but still in the bag, it looks new. All good products. I think those are all legit. I don't think those are being faked that heavily. So we'll continue on with some more accessories. We have the magnetic bike lights. Why Supreme came out with those? Nice little packaging. I don't know. Some of the items I still am confused. These have been taken out of the packaging before, I believe. They'd maybe pass for DS. I don't know why you buy these. I'm, I, I don't know why. It's not even like an item that's reselling a lot. So I don't know. But we have the Lucetta. It's looking like we're getting all the items that we're supposed to be getting. And I'll open this heavy box here. I'm not sure what this one is. <laughs> wow. We have uh, about 30, 40 Supreme Bouncy Balls. These were the free items that came in fall, winter 18, I believe. So I think a lot of this stuff you bought was fall, winter 18. And uh, we have about... Oh my gosh, this is a collection. I'm gonna have to start giving these away on like Instagram or something. We got five of them, six of them right there. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I'd say about 28 Supreme Bouncy Balls here. <laughs> That's sick. I was not expecting that you guys could see right there. Looks like they buy from Farfetch as well. I'm wondering if this person watches my channel because Supreme Farfetch, another one of the Supreme Lucetta. This is going to be the red one. So we have both the red and the black. I'll probably sell these as a set on my website. Continuing on, we have a bunch of teas. Looks like we have, I think this is an Akira plate right here. They nicely wrapped that up. Yep. Akira plate. I got a couple things from the Akira collab, but none of the plates. I focused on the long sleeve t-shirts. We'll pull this out. This is uh, pretty cool. Maybe they ate some dinner on it because it looks used. Supreme Akira plate. Check that out. Supreme Akira plate. <laughs> <laughs> my gosh, I almost just completely broke that and that was not on purpose So I'm putting that to the side and continuing on we've got a supreme license plate frame in here This is pretty cool. I've seen people at car shows have these nice little vanity plate These are going for about 80 to 100 dollars and this believe is brand new But does not have the box or anything continuing on we have a supreme shoulder bag. This is heavily used uh, Hopefully they didn't leave anything in here. What if they left like 20 bucks? They probably definitely check this out. This is heavily used You can see on the corners there one that is selling for a decent amount of money all the like shoulder bags and stuff sell for retail for a while and then after the season everybody wants them. now that we're this far in do you think i can show you guys a little bit of a preview if you don't want to see a preview look away now i'm gonna show you guys a preview of what is left still a lot of stuff in here i see an akira t right on top and some other things we'll pull that out we have a size medium akira box logo t i believe that's from the akira you can see right there next up we have the supreme i believe this is the spiral time t or something and an xl continuing we have the supreme pink panther this is a i just not a fan of like the neckline with the black Neck. It just kind of reminds me of like a baseball tee or something. Now I'm gonna pull out, I guess, a bunch of tees. Oh, I forgot that there's a pair of shoes in here. We got a pair of shoes. So here we go with a couple more t-shirts. We have the Supreme. This is like an undercover gnome tee. Another one I think is going for about a hundred bucks. We have this Supreme Infinity tee. I have this in pink and just actually sold on my website, size medium. And then we have a Supreme North Face and a medium. This is one that I actually purchased myself. Got it for retail. I was like, oh, I was so hyped on it. And then they're not selling for much of a retail. Then we have another brand new Supreme North Face tee in a size large. This is another one of the graphics from the Supreme collab when they did the Gore-Tex and stuff like that. We have a good amount left, it looks like. So I'm gonna pull out these. We have three Supreme shower caps. If you guys don't know what that is, basically it was a free item on last season and it is actually a Supreme shower cap. Show you guys a little bit more. We have a brand new pack of the Supreme Ludens, which is basically cough drop. These are DS. Not sure if anybody would actually want to like buy these. I don't, it's kind of weird because you never know, but they look on dead stock. Looks like it's measuring up to exactly what I thought it would be. Oh, there's a lot of items left actually. We've got another Ludens right here, brand new. These are ones that aren't selling for too much. I'm going to pull out this pair of shoes. We have one sneaker in here and this is a size 12 Air Max Tailwind. This shoe is not that appealing to me. I'll be 100% honest. They look to be, they definitely are used, but cleaned. Not a big fan of this silhouette. It's a cool shoe. It's got like some cool reflective stuff there, but size 12 used probably will be, uh, definitely be one I'll be selling. Not my size plus. This is not one I'd probably wear. So they look pretty, really good condition though. Maybe worn once. We have another Supreme Akira collab. This is the pill tray, I believe. I don't think we need to legit check any of these because this looks pretty good. Another Supreme Akira. All right, I'm going to pull, mm, I'll wait. We got a few keychains here. We got the Supreme level keychain. If you're ever doing some construction or anything, use that and then we have the supreme bling keychain as well a lot of cool accessories then i believe oh, okay i thought he shorted me one thing but we have a supreme zippo i think this is the diamond plate yep going for about 50 bucks we have supreme master locks we have two of these one in red and one in black these are actually gonna be I, i'm actually gonna use these because i have a storage unit i need to lock up and lastly we have i think that's it yep Lastly, we have two bags. This is the little shoulder bag, brand new utility pouch. This one's going for a decent amount of money, I believe. And then we have another shoulder bag from the same as the white. This one looks used as well. Not too heavily used, but we're gonna double check for some money or something. But another utility bag, cool amount. So let's go ahead and double check. I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna check and make sure everything was sent. 
and then see what we're looking like. Right as I just said that I was gonna go ahead and calculate everything and got an email. My fiance just got a delivery of flowers that I got her, so we're gonna show her and surprise her. Let's go get the flowers, and we're gonna do an unboxing of the flowers. All right, guys, Sophie's opening. I got her a little uh, thing of, she knows what they are. They're flowers. Her birthday's on Monday. They delivered it Friday, because they don't deliver Monday. So I want to do her to an unboxing. Go show her some love on her Instagram. Show her some love, get her a 7K. But <laughs> here are the flowies. Sure. Got some coupons. She's supposed to be collabing with this company, though, so. Ooh, no need for a vase, because we got one, son. We need scissors. If you guys want to sponsor me, Books, send, you know, hit me up. Boys, if you have a girlfriend on their birthday, get them some flowers. It's the move. Everybody go wish her a happy birthday. Let's go finish this unboxing. Random, I know, in the video, but. All right, so I'm going ahead and looking through the list. I don't know if I showed you guys this list earlier because I didn't want to show you guys everything that was coming, but I'm gonna go through and check everything off and make sure that we got everything just so, you know, we didn't get scammed. So, got the Undercover Dolls tee. That is number one. The Swirl tee as well. And the Panther, these are all up front. Swirl tee, or that's the Eternal tee. This is the Swirl tee. And then we have the Akira. So the first five are all marked off. The Arab, or we have to get the Arabic tea as well, but that's underneath. So all the first items are all good. There was the uh, youth tea on there. It's not anymore. TNF metallic tea. That is all good. Pink cargo pants is good. We have the Supreme deck in white. There was the black one on there. Then we have the white and black fall winter 17 bag. We have the three beanies. These are the two that are on there. I can't remember what the name of this one is though. Five of these shower caps. We have those. We have the band-aids, the Ludens, the bike lights, the keychain. We have the Zippo. We have the Tailwind. Now, they have tailwinds at a size 10 and a half. Oh, so these are a men's 10 and a half and a women's 12. So I mess up on that. Supreme license plate, the lock, the Santa statue, Akira plates, the Supreme bear, and the Supreme balls. There's 26 of them. So everything looks good to me. Everything checks out. I think that this is all good stuff. I don't think these aren't items that are fake. Like if this was all box logos, that'd be different. But I'm going to go ahead and be listing these on my website. The stuff that I'm not keeping, but this is a good collection of stuff. So I'm excited and glad that we got it. If you guys want to see me do some more collection buying, let me know. And if you guys have a collection you want to sell, post it up on eBay and maybe I'll cop it. I wanted to show you guys how the website works and how I sell things and basically shout out my website again. I'm going to have my cameraman who normally does this. He's going to go through and list up these items on the website. We're going to do a time lapse of him doing it. Why is this camera tilting? We're going to do a time lapse of him loading everything up and then uh, you guys can see what's actually going to be on the website and we'll show you guys after. So here comes time lapse of cameraman Nick doing the website. <laughs> This is all the stuff I decided to sell. Now, I wanna be able to see if I'm gonna be able to make money back on this, if this is like worth it. I honestly think we're gonna end up at like $2,600 selling. I'm keeping a lot of stuff, but if we were to sell everything, I think 2,600 bucks. For me, obviously I'm making money off video, but we're gonna sell some stuff, so check it out. I think that's gonna wrap it up for the video. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and uh, see you guys next time. This is Harrison, signing up.